Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build automated video email workflows. Let's get right into it. The first thing we'll have to do is visit your settings and configure an email address so that we can send directly from Dub. The first thing to do is visit the team section, configuration, put in a physical address here so we're can spam compliant. Next, under campaign settings, we'll need to configure an email. So we can come in here and add configuration. You can either use Gmail. Uh, it's a very direct API, so this is probably the easiest of the bunch. You just click connect with Gmail, it'll take you into your Gmail login. Any other, so say if you already have an SMTP provider you're using or Amazon or Mandrill at SendGrid, whatever provider you're using, you can choose the option there and then enter their credentials and connect that email. Once you have entered a physical address and configured your email, we're ready to move to the next step, which is setting the privacy of your video to be included in workflows. So uh, let's say this video right here, how to build campaigns. We want to make this one shareable. Um, all we do is visit the video information page here under the details section. We want to make sure this box right here, share with team and allow collaboration is checked. You can see there it says allow video campaigns and workflows. So make sure that box is checked. Next, we're going to visit the marketing section of the site and come into automations. The prerequisite to building a workflow is that we first have to have emails that are going to be included in a workflow. So here's an example of each. Here is first an example of a workflow with a couple of emails in it. It has, you know, one, two, three, four steps, or emails, I should say. And then here's a series of these emails. So let's go ahead and create one from scratch. So I'm under here, under marketing, automation, and email, brings me to this page here, and now I'm gonna click new. So here is where I'm gonna choose the name of this email. And then this is the email provider that we configured in the earlier steps. Now this is the from name, and this is the subject line of the email itself. So um, this is pulling data from our contacts section there. So be sure that if you're gonna to use tokens that the contacts information is there. Otherwise it's gonna use the fallback right there, which is high. And you can change the subject line. We definitely recommend changing it uh, to something more personal. Next, when you wanted to include the video, um, all you have to do is you can see that uh, video we put the checkbox on is now there. All I have to do is put my mouse on that button, uh, our video, and you'll see it's gonna put a blue frame around it, and now that's the video that I've selected. Click Next, and then now here is where we're actually constructing the email itself. I can either use the simple editor, which just keeps it in a plain text. So again, it's using that token. Any changes I make here, you'll see that they're, uh, they show up down there in the preview of the video email. Um, so I can also use tokens, or sorry, uh, camp templates here. So I can choose multiple templates. I can edit these and modify each individual template as I want. You can see they're all just a little bit different, different colors, maybe a different, slightly different layout. And um, these are automatically including your logos, your headshots, things like that. So, and you can edit, edit them to modify the text to say whatever you want. So you can see this one here isn't quite customized yet. Neither is that. But once you have selected a template, you can move to the next step, which is scheduling this guy uh, for later, which is actually saving this email and then using it for automations. So once you've constructed the email, we're ready to go into a workflow. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. So the name of this workflow will be test two. Now the type, I usually recommend add it using tags. So when you add a tag to a contact is when the workflow, the series of emails gets triggered. You can do by video watched, uh, but I usually don't recommend that. You have a little bit more control when you have tag added. So let's go ahead and use that path. So if the tag includes any of, meaning any of these tags down here, if, the, if this list includes any of those tags, then that's gonna be who gets enrolled into this. So we're gonna just use test for now. Save and continue. So that means anyone in the contacts with that test tag is going to be enrolled in this automation. So that means if I, right now, go ahead and turn this automation on, it's not gonna enroll those contacts. I have to go and add the tag to the contact in order for the automation to trigger. So let's go ahead and build a workflow really quick. We're going to say, so workflow triggered was the first step, meaning once I add this tag, I add the tag test to a contact, that's when this workflow is gonna trigger. So the next thing is to add a step which I will send an email, send campaign, which is one of those emails we just built in that email building section. I'm gonna go ahead and just choose test workflow, submit. And then now we can add another step, which can either be a delay, we can add an if then branch, like if they watch the video or if they did not. 
Um, or we can, you know, this delay can be days, minutes, hours, weeks, months, whatever. And um, we can also add a tag to them, which would then either enroll them in a different campaign or take them down a different path or, autom or you know, signify to them that this is now a hot contact. Lots of different things we can do with the tagging step. We can also just put them into a drip sequence, uh, which is a series of emails and build it out that way. So it could just be as simple as a delay in between these steps. So that's how that works. We uh, send out, we do actions and then we have uh, steps in between delays, triggers, or if then statements. And we can build these out as complicated as we need to. And then the final step is to save this or launch it right now. And we, there's a switch here that says it'll only trigger contacts once, which we do recommend. We don't want, you know, you accidentally sending the same emails to people multiple times. That switch is going to turn this workflow on and go ahead and make sure you check that box. So that is how you create and launch automations.